Dr. Michael Cooking Show and today we'll be showing you how to cook photosynthesis tomato soup. Okay, for this tomato soup you guys are going to be needing fish, tomatoes, seasoning, and vegetable stock. First step, we will need some salmon and some chopped tomatoes and we're going to put it in the vegetable stock and let it marinate for about 30 minutes. And then put the tomatoes in, yep, just like that. Add some of that special seasoning to the vegetable stock. This is special seasoning. The seasoning will help add flavor to the vegetable stock. Alright guys, so after a while, after we added the seasoning to the H2O tomatoes, um, it broke down the tomatoes into tomato flesh and the tomato skins also came off of it. And so uh, the oxygen will be the tomato flesh and the hydrogen is the tomato skin. And after being separated from the uh, oxygen tomato flesh it will create ADP tomato skin juice and the NADP plus tomato skin we will drain out the ADP tomato skin juice and add NADP plus uh, tomato skin and use it for later for another step for the next step we will use a little bit more of the special sunlight seasoning and this time pour some of it on the ADP tomato juice and NADP plus tomato skin that we just removed from the stock all right so I'm gonna grab some skins and then put it in here and then I'll start Stir the special sunlight seasoning with the ADP tomato juice and NADP plus tomato skin. Doing so will make ATP seasoned tomato juice and NADP H seasoned tomato skin, which will be used as an ingredient later to make our second final product. Lastly, we will be we will put the ATP seasoned tomato juice, NADP H seasoned tomato skin, and CO2 fish into the mixer made by the Cabin Cycle Company. We will spin the mixer around six times. And when you open the cap again, you should see some gorgeous glucose fish slices. Put the glucose fish slice in the already seasoned tomato livestock. Wow, that's a glucose fish. We'll put it in there. Alright. Alright. Alright guys, so that's how you make a photosynthesis tomato soup. Thank you guys for watching the Stephen Michael Show. Yep. And we'll see you next time when we make a cellular respiration fish salad. All right, guys, welcome back to the cooking show, and today we're gonna to be cooking our second dish, which is the cellular respiration fish salad. And for this cellular respiration fish salad, we will be needing glucose fish, and we will need oxygen tomato flesh. That's the tomato flesh, and that's it. All right, so in this delicious dish, it will be filled with plenty of carbon dioxide fish and H2O tomatoes, which will give you the final product of ATP fish salad, which will give you plenty of energy. All right, guys, for the next step of this recipe, the first step will be that we'll be taking the glucose fish and we'll be putting it into the glycolysis machine which will turn the glucose into six pyruvate fish bits and also it will produce two ATP. All right, so this is a six pyruvate that was created in the glycolysis machine. All right, as you can see, we got six of them. You got one, two, three, Four, five, and, six. and for the second step of the recipe, you're going to put the six tiny fish bits into the Krebs cycle machine. The Krebs cycle will spin two times and break the pyruvate fish bits into six drops of NADH fish sauce and two FADH fish chunks. So we're just going to put right. it in there and yeah. I'm going to close it up. I'm going to spin this Krebs cycle machine twice. One, two. All right. The results. And after we spin it two times inside of it, there should be. Uh, six drops of NADH fish sauce and two FADH fish chunks. All right, guys, and for the last step of the recipe, uh, the electron transport chain, it all mixed together and it turned it into ADP. And now we're gonna mix the ADP into the lettuce phosphate to make the final product, the ATP fish salad. All right, Boom! Right. Lastly, we will put the ATP seasoned tomato juice uh, and, and, and vegetable stock. That's a vegetable stock. Alright. Ah!